Okay, so just as I was going off to work today, I found out the news that E3 2022 has officially been completely canceled. No digital event, no physical event, none of that. Now E3 last year was a digital only event and it was actually not all that good. Aside from Nintendo, Nintendo had a really nice presentation there and they really stole the show. However, the other companies that were there kind of just had weird presentations. Some of them had like live action trailers and weird stuff like that. But uh, E3 can be actually like really expensive and I guess it's been going downhill for a while now. Now, I love E3. I used to really love watching E3 every year. I remember back in the day when G4 was really relevant and popular. I used to watch on TV during E3, G4, every day during E3 looking forward to the different games that were showing off and what I was going to see and what was going to surprise me. But I guess in 2022, E3 is slowly starting to go downhill and become irrelevant as now we have Summer Game Fest with Jeff Keighley as Jeff Keighley seems a lot easier to work with and maybe a little bit less expensive to put an event together that works really well for a lot of games to be revealed, just like the Game Awards at the end of the year. Now when it comes to E3, I do really kind of, I'm going to miss it in some aspects, but in others it's like, it's, it's, a, it's an expensive thing to put together and I understand, especially with them not having people going there physically, uh, like buying tickets and all that for E3, it's going to cost them more and they probably don't make back the profit that they want to make to be able to run the show itself as it can be really expensive especially like um, Ubisoft put together last year I think it was or maybe it was a few years ago some like thing for uh, for Just Dance a big presentation with um, a bunch of people dancing and stuff like in outfits and all that kind of stuff different things that cost a lot of money to put together but E3 can be a really fun thing it's just it has been going downhill for a while and it hasn't been what it used to be. There was a point in time when E3 was so good and like Microsoft, Sony, and Nintendo, and all the third party companies and developers that were there all had like really fun shows and stuff. And then after Sony pulled out, it seems like E3 slowly started going down this slippery, slippery slope. And now E3 is just kind of becoming uh, something that just isn't really necessary anymore. Now, I don't know the people who put E3 together, but I feel like last year they probably made less money than they normally make when they put the show together. So I guess it isn't too surprising, but at the same time, I'm a little surprised because they did say that E3 was actually going to happen this year, um, I think a few months back or something, and now it seems that now E3 is officially canceled. I think E3 is just dead. I really do. I don't think that E3 really is re as relevant anymore. Jeff Keighley can do Summer Game Fest. Maybe we'll get some other things. Like PlayStation does their own thing. They do their own... Uh, little things that they got going on and then Microsoft even does their own things sometimes like they'll be at E3 But they do their own things and then Nintendo does their own directs so they don't need E3 and normally they have a, a good schedule for their um, Presentations which would be uh, like February then June then September and only do three to four directs a year And then they also do indie developer directs in between the main Nintendo directs so honestly it doesn't really I, it's, it's a little sad to see E3 going downhill because of the good memories of E3. And I always wanted to go to E3, that's the thing. E3 was one of those things that you get together with all these gamers and stuff, and it, it just seems like a lot of fun to go to E3 in person. But it seems like that might not ever happen because it's looking to me like E3 is dead. Anyways guys, I had to make some kind of video on this because it's kind of a, a, a big news thing because E3 is what we always look forward to for tons of video games to be revealed and sometimes awesome games revealed and sometimes it, sometimes it's a snooze fest. It really just depends. But I wanted to make a video on it because it's E3. I mean, it's a really big deal for you and me, us gamers. So um, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to like, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new to the channel with more gaming news and more content to come. And I will see you guys all in the next video. Later.